Hello everyone and welcome to the last Practical Python tutorial, uh, at least for a while. Uh, this one is going to be pretty short but also very important. Uh, today we're going to talk about how to interface with hardware, namely Arduinos. Uh, so this is if you want to control lights and motors and relays and all sorts of things uh, from within Python. So first thing we're going to do is import serial. This is a uh, the, the full name of this is Pi Serial, but the package name in here when you import is just Serial. Uh, and then this function is just something I made. You can have different variations of it, but this is kind of just the bare bones what you need in order to communicate with an Arduino from within Python. So this is just our function name. It takes a, a argument called com. Um, I could have made this whatever I want, of course, but I just decided to make it that. Um, and you see down here, this is the sort of thing that it takes. It takes a string that's just a number, uh, in this case one. So we, we run our command, we print a waiting connection. This is the, uh, the serial library's way to open the connection to the Arduino, basically. Uh, this is which port your Arduino is connected to. Uh, but, so if your computer has multiple USB ports, this is going to be one of them. And if you have an Arduino, you, you know how to find out what this is. Uh, this number here is something called the baud rate, which uh, a higher one means that messages between Python and Arduino are going to get sent back and forth more quickly. Uh, it's not that critical, at least for general use, except you have to make sure that this one this baud rate and another baud rate I'm going to show you later are the same. Uh, and then this here is basically just a buffer. We're saying wait five milliseconds before you try to do anything. It, it just keeps the code stable, basically. Uh, and then we have this while loop here. So I have a variable connected equals false. And I don't do anything with this right now, or anything else with this. But you could if you wanted to. You could have a little indicator thing saying like, Yes, we are connected. No, we are not connected. Whatever. Um, so connected equals false to start. While not connected, so if connected is false, this is going to be while true. Um, Sarah is just another random variable uh, we made up. Equals Sarah dot read. So this is our the Arduino, and we're going to try to read from the Arduino. Uh, this while loop actually only ever reads, uh, only ever runs once from what I understand. Uh, this is something I'm still a little bit new to. Uh, it's just going to get to Sarah.read and just wait until we hear something back from the Arduino. And then once we do, we're going to set connected to true, uh, in which case we're going to break out of this while loop. Um, you could get rid of this variable entirely and just put like a break here, uh, but I left this in here in case you wanted to have that indicator thing I was talking about. So anyway, we're waiting for, to get connected to the Arduino. Once we are, we break out of the loop. We say, yes, we're connected. Um, and then here, we are going to write to the Arduino, write to the serial port, whatever got passed in to the function. And after that, we're going to just have a while loop where we're going to constantly be reading from the, the Arduino. We're going to constantly be seeing what the Arduino is putting back. Um, in this case, we have it so if the Arduino prints back a zero, uh, that's going to mean that the Arduino is done doing whatever it's doing and we can reset and we can do other things. Um, so this is just if the length of the string, the stringified version of whatever we got back from the Arduino is greater than zero. So this is basically if we got something back from the Arduino and if zero is in there, then break. <coughs> if zero is not in there, then just print it. So I'll show you the Arduino code in a second. It basically says like, oh, we are running this motor, we are blinking this light, whatever. <clears throat> in which case, zero would not be in there, but it would print it. So we could see from the Python code what was going on. After this while loop is broken, which means that the Arduino is done doing whatever it's doing, we print Arduino success, we close the serial port, and that's it. I'm gonna show you the Arduino code now. So this is your standard void setup. You know, this is just the initial setting up of the Arduino. 
uh, pin mode 13 output. Uh, in this example, we're only accepting one command, and that's to blink an LED. If you're familiar with Arduino, then uh, you'll be able to make this, to edit this code a little bit to make it run motors or whatever you want to do. Uh, so pin mode 13 output means that we're going to be sending voltage out to, li to light the light, uh, sending voltage out of pin 13 at some point. Uh, here is that baud rate I was saying. Uh, we're setting that again. Uh, it's just really critical that the baud rate is the same. So 9600 here and 9600 back in the Python code. And then here, here we're doing serial dot write uh, zero. This is so that in the Python code, when we're trying to read from it, there's something there. There's something in the serial port for the Python code to pick up. Uh, and then we have, we're declaring this variable command code. This is a char. And then void loop. This is basically a while loop. If you don't know Arduino, this just runs over and over again. Uh, so people for AI stuff will put something in here like a robot will constantly be checking what's going on around it or what, and react to it accordingly. Um, in this case, we're just using the loop to constantly check what's in the serial port uh, to see if Arduino, if uh, Python sent us anything. So void loop, if there's anything in the serial port is basically what this means, then read it and then turn whatever it was into a char so we can work with it and then that's going to be our command code variable um, print whatever we got we received and then turn it into a string so we can print it the command code so if we pass a one into that python function there, if we pass a one into here that's going to get passed into here and then it's going to get written to the arduino serial port so then that's going to be our command code and then we're going to say we received a one or whatever we passed in uh, wait this long just I just do this for stability I, I kind of put in arbitrary delays sometimes uh, because especially when you're working with like a Raspberry Pi sometimes you'll print you'll write something to the port and then you'll read something to the port and it it can be a mess I just you don't have to have this here and you can decrease this or tweak it whatever um, I just like to have a little delay in there. Um, it also helps with debugging so you can see what's going on. Everything doesn't just happen instantly. Anyway, command code is our char. In this case, it's going to be a one. If command code equals one, then print, we are blinking an LED. And then write high voltage, so send voltage to it. Have the LED on for one second. This is in milliseconds. So is this. Um, and then turn the LED off and wait a second. And then here's our serial dot write zero. So this is to tell the Python code that we're done doing whatever we were doing. Um, so that's that's where this loop comes in, where we say if zero, then break and close the serial port and whatever we're done. Uh, and that's about it. Uh, if you don't already have the Arduino IDE, which is this, which I don't think we install in uh, lesson zero, just go to this website. I'll have a link attached to this video. Uh, if you have Windows, just Windows installer. Uh, if you have an, a Raspberry Pi, you want the ARM version for Linux. And if you have something else, you know, Mac, do this. If you have Linux, then you know which version of Linux you have. Uh, and that's it for this lesson, as well as the series. I hope that you found the series helpful and informative, and I hope you enjoyed it as well.